What is 12th position? Why do I call it the most overlooked position on the harmonica? And how can we use it to play blues and country music? Let's explore all these things together. <laughs> Hey everyone, today I'm going to deal with what I think is the most overlooked position on the harmonica, 12th position. Now, as you, many of you know, we describe keys on the harmonica as being positions. This is a C harp. I always use C harps for teaching. So first position on a C harmonica is the key of C, which people use a lot for folk music. Second position, you go up a fifth. Every position is that you go to is a fifth higher than the previous one. Five notes in the scale. G. Second position, the key we play blues in. And so on and so forth. Twelfth position, on the other hand, means that you have to go up twelve fifths all the way around the circle of fifths till the last one, which is the key of F. And there are several reasons why people didn't play an F for a long time. One of them was the way the harmonica was tuned. For many, many years, from the beginning of time, actually, from the beginning of when harmonicas were made until the late 1960s, they were tuned in what's called just intonation. And that follows the natural overtone series, these perfect mathematical ratios of intervals, thirds, fourths, fifths, and the chords sound amazingly in tune. incredibly in tune. And if you're going to be playing blues with some distortion, that chord sounds amazing. But the problem with just intonation is that certain notes are going to be really flat, and the flattest of them all is F. So if I just try to play the, the C major scale from the fourth hole on, up, That F sounds really, really out of tune when you hit, play it by itself. It's more than 20 cents flat, maybe even 25 cents flat. So to play in a key, you have to have the first note of that key actually be in tune, or else why, why would you want to play in it? And to make it even more difficult, the F doesn't exist in the first octave because of the Richter tuning. So... It's got two strikes against it. But uh, I discovered that this was a really cool key to play in just around when I started, maybe in 1970, I started playing in the key of F. And one of the reasons why F sounded good to me is that they changed the way harmonicas are tuned. Um, and they made this instrument called the Golden Melody, which was designed to play melodies in tune. So the scale sounds in tune, and the F is great. The other weird thing, though, about F is that if you play a scale just of the notes that are on the harmonica starting on F, you get this strange-sounding mode. It's, the, it's called the Lydian mode. The fourth is a half-step higher than a regular fourth. That would also discourage people. And if you go down, you have to bend some notes. You have to bend three and two down. And if you bend two down a whole step, you get that F down there. So you can hear there's some nice sounding licks for country music, for blues, for and for jazz. And uh, this, of course, is a golden melody that is tuned to the tempered scale. Chords sound terrible. <laughs> Single notes sound great. And most people play harps these days that are compromise tuned. Here's one. The chord sounds a little bit better. And now I'm going to play just the major scale in the key of F for you, just with some bends. So you can do it.
some very sweet sounding countryish, bluesish types of licks are available. If you start on two draw, all the bends are in different places relative to the tonic, to the key you're playing in. It's a little confusing at first. That's the most confusing thing about it, is to get used to the, the different breathing patterns, the blow and draw pattern and where the bends are. So that F, you can bend up to the second note. And that the A and A flat, you have to have good control over the third hole draw to get that. And you can hear there's some really wild bends. Almost close to what Albert King would do on a guitar. I'm sort of faking it a little bit because it makes it sound like one smooth bend, but I'm starting on three draw and I'm, I'm bending it down and falling off and then landing on two draw bend. It makes it sound like one smooth thing, but it's really two holes. So when you get up to the fourth hole draw, you can bend that sixth note, the sixth note of the scale, for the flat six up to the sixth. It's like a BB King guitar lick. And then when you get up to the sixth hole draw, you get that third, that nice juicy third. You can bend the third down to a minor third or It sort of sounds like BB to me, you know, and, and it has a country-ish bluesy feeling. And then on the top of the harp, you get the flat seventh by the eighth hole blow bend. And I'm not using any overblows yet here. I'm just showing you what's available with standard bending techniques. And if you go all the way up to the top of the harp, and you can you can bend the uh, tenth hole blow down. That's the fifth now. And the the ninth hole blow works if you're on the five chord. And I forgot the first hole. It has a, a really beautiful sound. So why don't I play some blues for you? some nice slow blues in first in uh, 12th position for you. I couldn't resist. I did use one overblow. So now I'm going to explain how to add the overblows in to 12th position for you guys who know how to do this. And you see that now, once you know how to use the overblows, it creates this incredibly rich position to play blues in. For starters, the flat seventh 
is the fourth hole overblow. And then the, uh, the fourth in the second octave. And you can bend it up if you have a harp that's well adjusted. Is the sixth hole overblow. Now the fifth hole is not as important, the fifth hole overblow, but sometimes I bend it up on the five chord. And I'll also use the first hole overblow as a little slower note. So those are the most important things. And then the overdraw, if you can get the seven overdraw. You can bend up to the sixth the same way you can same way you can on the lower octave with the fourth hole draw bend. So now I'm going to play uh, blues for you with overblows and overdraws in 12th position. Here we go. <laughs> That's enough blues to give you a pretty good idea of what you can do. The other thing that 12th position is really great for is playing country music because it has that major pentatonic scale so easily available. First, second, third, fifth, and sixth notes of the major scale. Just like that lick in the beginning of My Girl by The Temptations. It's a country guitar lick, which is uh, the first time I think Motown used country music. So, uh, and you got the sweet bends. Especially with the overblows thrown in. It's a beautiful key to play in. And you got that major seventh. And then the flat seventh, again, with the fourth hole overblow. And then there's a lot of country tunes that also play the two chord, the dominant seventh two chord, which is G7. So you can see that would be second position. So if you're going like that. It fits in beautifully. So I have a little, a little country backing track that you can also download that uses one, four, and five, and then one, two, and five in the progression. And I'm going to play along with that now.
So hopefully that'll give you a whole bunch of ideas on how to play blues and country music in 12th position.